Hello everybody, welcome back to another indie game spotlight. This is Conquest, a game by Green Lion Gaming, I think. Um, it's an RPG... Uh, there's been a proper thing on here. Like an RPG multiplayer type uh, game, which I've been asked to review. Um, so here I am. Games free available on uh, Windows, Mac, Google Play, and iOS Store for the low, low price of absolutely nothing. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I've created a character, and that's kind of how far I got. So I'm just gonna log in. There's a tutorial which I'm probably gonna do, and uh, that is probably going to be it for this. I'm not <clears throat> the biggest fan of these types of games, so you know. My opinion will probably be a bit colored because of it, so keep that in mind. So yes, we're in the tutorial. Uh, Overall objective of conquest to control 12% of the total available land. That's kind of interesting. It means it's not like global conquest, which probably makes it a bit easier to win said multiplayer games. Um, either that or it's like really slow and something, I don't know. But apparently there's a lot of stuff like alliances and stuff that can go on. Anyway, uh, visit stables to journey to the great city of Castle Bar and speak with Sir Nigel. Uh, I may have already clicked the wrong thing. I don't know. Each kingdom of defense is used for protection, campaign army used for attacking. You lose the defense, the campaign army is automatically recalled. Okay. Just maybe move between armies by selecting move. Some troops can be trained to the next tier. Most troops can be trained unless you purchase from markets. Moving okay. So this is kind of complicated stuff. Um, I was meant to go to these. Stables, I think. It's probably here. Uh, current locations, kind of different cities, different markets, like city travel, gates can be blown by the owner, mages, or in response to a raid. You may not leave or enter a locked city by normal means. Certain items or classes can bypass gates altogether. Port or coastal cities allow you to travel to continents to establish additional kingdoms there. Scroll the map to reveal additional cities. Okay. I have no idea where I was meant to go, though. Um. Oh, Castle Bar, that's it. Uh, how do you want to travel? By Magic Carp. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll travel then. Should have visited the markets per peruse their fine wares, can't find what you're looking for, check out the markets in different cities, tavern, all right, tavern next to top players, players in the middle from conquest and more, movement points and attacks, your army is fed and paid, troops without provisions will desert, okay. The Barmy Arms. Uh, Secret City sells goods and available anywhere else, just moving points and peasants. Flash structures captured and eliminated from conquest. You can view the last of the five player killed by selecting bounties. Alright, we're still in a tutorial, so we should still be fine, I hope. Look at him looking all fancy pants like that. Learn how I sing on uh, band camp uh, serving the name of the Emperor must be at least thousands. Surveys allows you to locate other players. The are currently online, you may only attack others on the same continent. Would you mind collecting the remaining names for me? Return to your kingdom is the library to survey some of the enhanced. Okay. Um I believe I was meant to go here next. 
Change gold for troops for gold. City has food market. Uh, you can only purchase goods for your chosen class. Goods you cannot purchase will appear faded. Uh, okay. Buy goods. Purchase the kingdom, tax on percent, select an item for details. Master of subterfuge, spies appear as farmer, tradesman, and nobleman as required by the job. Only one spy can be hired at a time. And I can't do that, apparently. Can I do one? There we go. I think I got one now. Corner of Valley City City figure of the Reef Chains by Nods and Follows you. Sweet. Okay. Uh, scrolling is like really, really slow. But you can click and drag. Okay, that's better. Uh, can we see how much we have? Yes, up there. Okay. Um, let's get. Cannot buy. Oh, we can buy food. We can buy archers. Archers. That's nice. Armor longbow and cut down foes from hundreds of yards away. Uh, cutting down is a bit much, isn't it? I do recall that archers weren't all that accurate, and they weren't really all that good either. But uh, let's get like a hundred archers because there you go. Siege equipment. Okay, let's go to where we need to be. Return home. Yes. Okay, and then I was meant to go to the library. Conduct survey of the local population, locate the other players. Once revealed, select the high button to spy on them. Players marked with a stamp are currently online. Joining alliance highly recommended. Alliance members receive a private chat channel and enforcements can share goods with one another. Land terms are level in the overall winner of an age. You may only advance one per s once per season and promotions are content specific. Population. Conduct a survey to locate other players. Select player for combat or I for subterfuge. What? Oh, there you go. Take this map to the band camp, got speed. Put to the band camp close by before engaging it. Oh, I see what kind of army they possess. The mystics are keepers of lore. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, mystics dwell in each city and no location of artifacts to the name of heroes. Okay. Where am I going? No, seriously, where am I going? Ten desertions. Okay. There are people online, it seems. October 02. Um... No, but seriously though, what am I meant to do now? Uh, conquer this strategy war game, a lady. Uh, Attack on the place allows you to get a land and goods, capture new structures. You must have at least one siege engine in your campaign army. Please also take a moment. Uh, question. Uh, um, yeah, but what was, I, what was I meant to do again? Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not helping. Um. Market or something? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Enter city. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, what? No, no, no. Wait, what? What? Where do I know what to do? Church? Black Friday mages and rangers are bound by code of honor. You must have sufficient honor to promote, and if your honor drops low enough, you may be demoted. Honor is increased by winning battles and praying at the church. It's reduces, reduced by losing battles or access to drink. Honor also slow decays each season. High honor aging. Last 25 winners of conquest. Okay. This is probably not where I need to be. Hmm. Thought I was meant to find a dude. really would appreciate being able to see what I wasn't meant to be doing. Why aren't you helping? More importantly, why am I not reading properly? It tells me to enter the city, but then what? Do I need to buy a dude or something? Buy goods. We already have one spy, or at least we should. He looks kind of cool, doesn't he? Not buy a battering ram either. I'm confused. A raid? Start quest. Quest analogy search for blah 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 blah. Attack an NPC will remove your protection from attack. Bandit camp. Your quest has begun, so your advisor for further instructions. And we're not really getting much. So do we just wait here? I thought we would get to see at least a little of the uh, combat system, but. I may have hit a wrong button somewhere. Spying is critical as it another player's kingdom and armies. Ah, here's where we need to be. Once you have spied on another player, okay. Better to attack like where to be in your plane. Spies may only be hired from cities with an open market. Okay, so spy. Uh, I thought we were meant to do the bandit camp. No, this is against another player. No. They've already employed a spy to begin your subterfuge. Of who? Or of what? I'm kind of confused. Um, well, like I said, this might be easier if you already know what you are actually doing. Um, like I said, I have little to no experience with games like these, and I generally don't really enjoy them, but um, I suppose for people who do enjoy this kind of thing, they could really be interested in it. Looks like uh, there's a lot to do and stuff. Um, it's a shame that I didn't get to see the combat system. Uh, kind of would have been interested, in it, but I'm not really that kind of... I'm not, I'm not a multiplayer-oriented kind of guy. At least not the competitive thing, so... Yeah, it's kind of a shame that I don't really know what I'm meant to do from here on in. Um, but hey, it looks good. It kind of looks like the old um, Age of Empires thing, but this time in pretty big multiplayer setting. And as we've seen, there are people online. So... Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut this here. Keep this thing in mind. It is free to play. So, that's a big plus. Um, but yeah, I just don't really know what to do, nor do I know what to say about this. I'm, like I said it before, I'm not really into these types of games, so it's hard for me to really do a proper review or whatever you'd like to call it on here. It looks like there's a lot to do, and I just got five points for something. Maybe I did something here? 
I'm sure you have your reasons for banning this question to me when you're able to. Okay. Uh. Wait, does this thing just start over again? Oh, jeez. No, wait, this... Ha what? Ugh. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it here before I get even more confused. Like I said, uh, it's a bit too complicated for me because I just am not familiar with these types of games. Um, I'm pretty sure people who are familiar with it will have a good time with this one. As there are indeed people online, and even for a game that isn't all that old yet. I don't really know how old it is, but anyway. I'm gonna cut it here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're serious. Feel free to show support by coming, liking, and or sending me a family. And I'll see you guys on the next Indie Game Spotlight. This has been Conquest. Bye, everyone.